Hi, good morning, my dear students. I'm Daphne Kaur. Welcome to my discussions. We will discuss about thermochemistry or chemical energy today. As we all know, when a reaction occurs, it may give out energy or take in energy, which is the energy is the form of heat energy. The amount of energy that is given out or taken in can be measured as enthalpy change of the reactions. Therefore, energy can be changed from one form to another. Always bear in mind that any energy lost by the system must be gained by the surrounding and vice versa. There are three types of system. There are open system, closed system, and isolated system. If referred to the STPM syllabus, students should be able to define his law and calculate the enthalpy change of the reactions by using the energy cycle. Therefore, our discussions today will be focused on how to calculate the enthalpy change of the reactions by using the energy cycles. Now, let's look at the first part: definitions of the Hess law. My dear students, this chapter introduces you to thermochemistry, a branch of chemistry that describes the energy changes that occur during chemical reactions. At first, you will study about what is Hess law, then you will study about enthalpy change of the reactions. Next, you will study the following enthalpy change of reactions. However, in our discussions today, we will focus on how to calculate the enthalpy change of the reactions by using the energy cycle. Always bear in mind that breaking of bonds involve absorption of energy, while bond formation is accompanied by the release of energy. Next, his law is a relationship in physical chemistry named after Germain Hiss. It is derived directly from the law of conservation of energy. Therefore, his law states that the total enthalpy change in any chemical reactions is a fixed quantity and is independent of the path of the reactions or the number of steps taken to obtain the reactions. Lastly, we may use this formula to calculate the enthalpy change of the reactions. Always bear in mind that. It does not depend on how the reaction is completed, or it does not depend on whether the reaction takes place in single step or several steps. In thermochemistry, we are dealing with only the heat energy in the unit of joule or kilojoule. Therefore, the unit of enthalpy change of the reaction is kilojoule per mole. From the overall enthalpy change, we can classify reactions as either exothermic or endothermic. Positive enthalpy change for a reaction indicates endothermic process, while negative enthalpy changes corresponds to exothermic process. To fairly compare the changes in enthalpy between reactions. All reactions should be carried out under standard conditions. We will write enthalpy change at standard conditions like this. To show that a reaction has been carried out under standard conditions, this symbol is used. As I mentioned, our discussions today will focus on how to calculate the enthalpy change of the reactions by using the energy cycle. So let's look at the first questions now. The question asked to determine the enthalpy change 
for these reactions. It is important to know what is the question is trying to ask for. It is because the first step of using the energy cycle is write down the chemical equations of the reactions. Now, let's see how are we going to use the informations given to draw the energy cycle to determine the enthalpy change of the reactions. From the questions, we need to determine the enthalpy change of this reaction. So we need to look for the enthalpy change of these reactions. Next, by referring to the data given here, carbon rate with oxygen will get carbon dioxide. So we go back to the questions here. When carbon rate with oxygen, we will get carbon dioxide. Enthalpy change should be negative 394. Negative 394. After that, we check whether the equation is balanced or not. So we need two carbon. While the value negative 394 only for one carbon. So from the questions, we need two carbon, right? That's why we balance up the equations. We put two here. That means we need to times two times for our enthalpy change here. Next, we look at the second data given. Two carbon monoxide rate with oxygen will get two carbon dioxide. We go back to the questions here. Two carbon monoxide will rate with oxygen. Then we will get. carbon dioxide for this enthalpy change should be negative 566 negative 566 lastly by using the concept of his law anti-clockwise is equal to clockwise so how to consider as anti-clockwise and clockwise so we look at the arrow from here to here from here to here clockwise here to here then we follow the directions of the arrow from here to here consider clockwise how about anti-clockwise anti-clockwise from here we consider the directions of the arrow the arrow like this so this consider anti-clockwise so clockwise is equal to anti-clockwise so clockwise from here, enthalpy change of the reactions together with the value of negative 566 plus negative 566 is equal to anti clockwise. How to consider anti clockwise from here to here? So the enthalpy change should be 2 times negative 394. Lastly, we will determine the and the big change of this ratio is equal to negative 2, 2, 2. Remember to put the unit of the enthalpy change, it should be kilo drop. So this is our answer for the enthalpy change of the ratio. Before we go to the second example, always bear in mind that we need to write out the state Oxygen is gaseous state, and carbon dioxide is gaseous state. Next, we go to the second example. Calculate the enthalpy change of this reaction by referring to the data given. So, the first step of answering this question is to write down the thermal chemical equations involved and put the symbol of enthalpy change of the reactions. Now, let's see how we're going to use the data given to draw the energy cycle. So, from the first step, it's very clear that we need to look for the enthalpy change of the reaction. Next, 
it by referring to the data given here first one carbon right with oxygen will get carbon dioxide so go back to our questions carbon right with oxygen will get carbon dioxide So the enthalpy change should be negative 394. Then we see whether the thermochemical equation is balanced or not. So we need two carbon here. While the theta given here is for one carbon for 394 kJ. Now we need two carbon. That's why we need to put two over here to balance up the equations. Next one. We will see the second theta given, which is hydrogen's rate with oxygen's will get H2O. We go back to our questions. Hydrogen's rate with oxygen's will get H2O. So from theta given, the enthalpy change is negative 2864 one hydrogen to produce one mole of H2O so 1 to 1 is equal to negative 286 for the last information is given which is one mole of C2H2 we agree with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water molecule so we go back to our questions here one mole of C2H2 will rate with oxygen to get two more of carbon dioxide and one more of H2O molecule. Now the enthalpy change should be negative one three zero 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 joule. So before we go to the calculations of the enthalpy change of the reactions always bear in mind that we need to write down the state of the return and product so the state of oxygen should be yes carbon dioxide should be yes oxygen should be gas water should be L so by using the concept of his law clockwise is equal to anti-clockwise so how to consider clockwise from the energy cycle here we refer to the directions of arrow from here to here here to here clockwise then we follow the directions of the arrow from here to here then we go to this part this we consider clockwise Next, anticlockwise from here to here. From here to here. This consider anticlockwise. Now we can write like this the enthalpy change of the rations add up with add up with negative one three zero zero negative one three zero zero is equal to this way from here to here from here to here two times negative three nine four and negative 286 from the calculations here lastly we will get our enthalpy change of the reaction should be positive 226 kilo -joule. that's all for our discussions today see you next time thank you